wild ass dream and I mean wild as fuck okay I'm gonna try to remember how all this shit happened on top of giving as much detail as I can because it's it's so hard anyway okay let me go on and get into it before I forget shit okay as far as back as I can remember I remember being in some big house well it kind of seemed like uh, certain parts of this big ass house was my mom's them house I know the kitchen part kitchen part of this house was in my mom's kitchen and then there was like a dining room another section of the house it was like the dining room area of my mom's them house but the rest of it was like some really big ass elegant place like it was so beautiful it had like a upstairs it was like a big upscale slash vintage looking club all in one and they had they had like purple lights blue lights like it was real elegant i wouldn't say ele it was more elegant on the club side like the version of an elegant club but they still had the light show stuff and it was kind of vintage and um it was really sexy like the main thing about that was that it was sexy so in this big elaborate ass house they were having a game show like it's it wasn't a club it just looked like a club but it was some more shit going on in here like they had a game going on and it involved a male and female now the females like they had to be top-notch beautiful and like model looking material so in each room or each se each section of this building like there were maybe like two little square things that the pretty model had to sit on and pose and or it would be three, which means it had to be three models or two models, like one, two, three blocks, one, two, three models. They would have to sit and pose, and I think it would, they would either have to pose nude or like in a two piece, but they had to be very sexy. They had to sit on it because it's, it was something under there that they were sitting on. I'll get to that. But the models had to sit on it. And if they didn't sit on it, the whatever that was in there was gonna come out and it was gonna be it was gonna be horrible. Okay, so as the model sitting on there, the guys had to the guys had to protect I think I'm thinking the guys the reason the guys were playing were because they had to protect the models from being harmed. Like they had to battle what was under the models what the models was holding under this block like they had to battle what was under there so I had to sit on one so I'm sitting on one and it was my turn to get up so I think I got up and it was me I got up and these big ass crazy looking I don't know what the type fuck monster this was but this was some crazy ass shit that I was holding under me like in this box like this was like part man part blob part um hook part dog part gargoyle part man all this shit was just like condensed into one big ass nasty looking motherfucker monster oh god that shit was crazy but this thing like the guys the males had to either kill this thing or like they had to do something with this monster like keep it under control like they had to do something to it but i wasn't sure it was on some weird shit and if they succeeded, everybody would go to the last level and we made it to the last level. And 
I'm thinking like, what the fuck is really going on? I'm not supposed to be here. Um, I need to go home to my man. Like, this is some crazy shit. I'm not getting paid to do this. So, they go in there. We all go to the last level room. And it's like laid out. So nice like it was comforters everywhere and it was like a big ass pole like not a stripper pole it was just like a big ass pole in the middle and they had like the bar area where it was just like drinks for everybody so when i walk in and there was like the floor was like a um a mattress com comfy pillow type like material i walk in and it was like this one guy just put everybody under a fucking spell and everybody like everybody that was there they didn't know each other like some of them probably knew each other it's like being associates or whatever but majority of the folks didn't know each other so in this room this guy just puts everybody under some spell he does some shit i think and everybody start taking their clothes off and start fucking each other like a big ass orgy that shit was crazy and i was like oh hell no nah, i'm not finna do this shit y'all got me fucked up i'm finna go so as i'm leaving <sighs> motherfuckers start chasing me like it became um uh uh a high speed chase or high run chase because i wasn't in no fucking car yet so i'm running i don't figure out who i'm with i'm some i'm with somebody some people i don't even know who these folks are i'm with them and we running and they all trying to get me because I didn't want to stay at this party. Well, it wasn't even a fucking party. I didn't want to stay at the orgy. So they trying to get me and they trying to kill me. And it was some crazy shit. They, like, we ended up in some fucking neighborhoods running and, and folks is shooting. And it just got real chaotic real fucking fast. I'm like, damn. It's got real fucking chaotic and all that i just said i missed so much i know so much more happened i can feel that so much more happened i'm just not able to remember to tell like i wish i would have woke up earlier and just started this video and tell y'all because this shit was fucking crazy like god damn it blew my mind that i went back to sleep so i can continue to see what was going on but anyway we running i'm getting chased i'm in a car riding with somebody i don't even know who i'm riding with they weren't successful catching us or killing us or no shit like this. So everything kind of just calmed down. And then we end up back at the house. Now, back at the building. Now, this time in the building, I'm in my mom's, uh, it's like in my mom's, mom's them house. So I'm in the kitchen and all of a sudden, like, they start complaining about blood. Oh, fuck. I just forget. I just remember. Okay. Now, the whole thing with the blood, like, if they get blood on the floor, then that's it. Like, these creatures, whatever creature is close to it, like, they are connected to, like, okay, they already got, I'm supposed, I'm guessing these creatures already got the taste of the blood from the man that they're going to be running after. So, as soon as it opens up, like, they automatically chase this one dude. Now, if any other blood is spilled around this area that this um animal in oh and i just thought about it like once they let the animals go this building was theirs like this big elaborate ass building that we were in it was theirs because they were like part human in a way so they kind of lived like humans did like they were like men like these monsters like were turning into men throughout my dream and uh they once they let go and they come after you if you don't succeed in killing them it got to the, this is where it got to the point of being like if you didn't succeed in killing them they will kill your ass and they will eat you so anyway so um one point one point um we, we in the kitchen and some guy made a mistake and got blood everywhere and so of course the big ass monster thing came out and killed his ass but he didn't eat him he left him there because the people that were running all this shit got them under control and put them back in there but they had to get rid of the body and i had to go and clean it up and i'm not sure I, in this dream i'm like how the fuck am i supposed to clean up blood where's all the shit at? i don't know what shit is so people looking at me like oh you just 
whatever just go get a sponge make sure you only use water and make sure you scrub the shit up so as i'm down here scrubbing the shit up in the, my mom's kitchen they're uh setting up the platforms and shit for the house and some kind of way i fucking see a stripper pole and i end up on a pole and i'm dancing like oh this is how i would dance if i was a stripper i'd be real good i'd be dancing like this i'm just doing all these crazy tricks and before i know it, there's an audience in front of me and i'm on stage so i get back down and i go back and get my little sponge thing and start uh cleaning up the blood and it seemed like the more blood i cleaned up the more blood appeared and it was just like smearing everywhere and i was like man you know what fuck this shit so i'm going over to no i stopped to walk in the living room and i see my friend tk and she's gonna be one of the models and she's with another girl and they're already sitting on their uh stones and they just start dancing and like my mommy is like right in front of them watching them and so they start dancing like doing freaky shit on each other and tk tried to grab me and i'm like no nah, i gotta go i gotta go clean this blood up so i go back and i try to finish cleaning up this fucking blood and <sighs> shit there's a lot of shit happening in this fucking drink so i go and i try to clean up this fucking blood and i end up outside and this real pretty model girl. Actually, I see this girl um, named Pauline in the dream. She was with me. We were standing outside. Like, she was saying she didn't want to do that. She, she didn't want to model like that no more. Like, she was tired of that shit. She was looking real pretty as usual. And some couple of people had came out and just picked her up. And I'm still sitting on the side, on the corner outside. And I'm actually, and this, this point in time, I'm downtown Memphis sitting on the corner, like in the area of Denny's and the Auto Zone Park. So I'm sitting out there, but it was not exactly that. Like, it just looked like this shit. I don't even know what, where I was. So I'm just sitting on the side, and she leave with a bunch of folks. And they were also a part of this big-ass, crazy mansion monster shit they had going on. So, as I, they left, and I saw her coming back, and she was walking by herself. And I'm like, damn, what's up with that? And she was, like, kind of sad or some shit. Like, I don't know, trying to get away from it. But anyway, I ended up back in the house, and I'm over there washing dishes now. Why am I washing? No, I wasn't washing dishes out. I was rinsing out the sponge and the water and trying to get the soap suds out. Because somehow I ended up with soap suds, and I'm not supposed to. But anyway, so they tell my boyfriend, my real-life boyfriend, to come in there. And all of a sudden, he just started humping me like we having sex. And he was feeling really, really good. And I was moaning, and he was moaning. But we weren't having sex. It was like we were dry humping each other. He was naked, but I had on clothes. And he was humping on me, and I'm still trying to get the water out and rinse. And they were, like, using us to demonstrate something. I don't know what the hell they was talking about demonstrating, but it had nothing to do with sex. That was the crazy part about it anyway so he stopped because a lot of blood just started running down his nose and this time he is no longer my boyfriend he done turned into somebody else and i turned around and he got like just blood coming no 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 he didn't the blood started coming when i got done with my boyfriend and i walked into a setting where everything was set up and i'm back in the fucking mansion area and I'm looking for my post because I realized what the fuck is going on. So I was going to take my paper off and just like say fuck this shit and leave. So as I'm doing that, there was a guy, one of the runner guys, like the guy that had to be chased and try to, you know, tame the monster. He's out on the, on the floor just dancing and shit. And all of a sudden he just started bleeding. I just happened to run over and catch his blood like this. And we just running to not get any blood on the floor. Because if we got any blood on the floor, all these fucking monsters was just going to come out of everywhere and just start killing motherfuckers. So I'm grabbing and I take him back there and they clean his blood and all that kind of shit and I don't know like some weird shit really happened I don't know where none of this shit came from I'm guessing all the blood comes from me being on my period I don't know but it was some crazy shit I wish I could go into detail I wish I could show y'all this fucking dream I had cause it was fucking crazy like I had some moonshine earlier there was like a shot, only one shot. Well, two shots and one of moonshine. And that was hours and hours and hours before I even went to sleep. That was like when I got off work. I don't see how the moonshine affected my dream. Now, I did eat some wings from 152, and I did not go to sleep until like 
four, four thirty five this morning. It's my boy Phil sleeping out. Whew, for Louisiana. It made me very sad. And I was tired at the same time. So I went back to sleep. And I think that's why I had that fucking crazy dream. But that shit was fucking crazy, y'all. I'm telling y'all, I wish I could plug something into my brain and let y'all see the visual of this you. It will blow your fucking mind because it blows my mind. And I already have fucking wild imagination. Like, I done seen some wild shit and I think of some wild shit in my head and that shit don't blow my mind. But my dreams really blow my fucking mind. It's really crazy. But it was a lot. It's, my dreams are always very vivid and detailed and... I left so much like I probably left out an hour worth maybe two hours worth of detail that should be told as to why like I knew why all this shit was going on it was like other stuff happening that I can't even get out because I'm trying to explain one part of it and it it was like I'm just explaining one part of my dream I'm not explain, explaining all the 20 other shit um, 20 other things that were fucking going on in my dream that were connected to this one thing that I'm already talking about. I was just like hitting the surface, giving y'all a summary of the fucking dream because it's just so deep and detailed that I just can't say it all. Maybe if I was writing it, usually when I write my dreams down, I can get into a little more detail. But I try to hurry up and get it out so I don't forget. That's the thing. Like, I be forgetting these crazy ass dreams and whatever. But yeah, that was my crazy ass dream for the night. Man, like, that shit really blew my mind. Like, it sometimes my dreams have me waking up feeling a certain way. Like, it really affects my day. Like, I've had dreams where some really bad shit didn't happen, or like some shit that I've already been, you know debating about in my head realistically when I lay down and go to sleep and that shit is portrayed in my dream and I'm giving like an answer to it it really fucks with me emotionally all day like I will keep referring back to the dream like if I wake up crying whatever I'm crying about from that dream it will fuck with me for the rest of the day like my dreams have a real effect on me and god damn but uh yeah that was my crazy dream Oh, and this is my little one thingy. <laughs> and they change all different kind of colors. Compliments of Club 152. <laughs> yeah, me and Amber did uh, a party there. And we were walking around. We were like the neon like girl dancers. And we passed all this shit out and I loved it, so I kept it. Anyway, this video is long. 17 minutes and 50 something. Well, it held 18 minutes now. So I guess I need to go ahead and stop it here. But thank y'all for watching and listening to my crazy dream. If you have any crazy dreams, feel feel free to talk about your crazy dream to the end of this and leave comments and shit like that or post a video reply with a video so i can hear about your crazy dreams i love crazy dreams i fucking love dreams